All right. Round two. I think soon I'll turn turn on the lights. Set up an alarm here. I think we're gonna spend two hours on this. So now I think I'm a little bit more rested. And it's still obviously gonna be hard because this challenge is hard. One of the hard ones. So yeah. So now I should be on with this one. I don't think I can use an, an end gate here. The end gate is just, oops. It's just gonna turn the, the turn it on the first one. I always do them uh, weirdly. I don't think it matters that much. It's not that bad. The other thing I was thinking about is that I might just... Uh, the the rest of the challenge is off stream, and then focus on the other stuff while while I'm streaming. So both of them have to be turned on. So I can use the off here. The not. I don't think it's gonna affect the other ones that much. You know, like this. It still doesn't work. So what if I put a reverse starter. Maybe I should try going, trying to do the other challenges uh, first. Because I think I'm kind of stuck on this one. I don't know what direction to go. I, was I remember I was making progress on some things that I did, but I don't. So maybe I can. I should continue that path that I took. And it was working. I think I'm gonna do that, and if it doesn't work out, then I'm gonna create a new uh, schematic just so I save this one. The one that that was kind of working. So now it needs to be turned off when this input is on. This input is off. 
I believe I was doing something like Oh that's just for Chanel Ultra. You can just move it like this. Yeah, I think I was just doing something like this. Where I use the input here. On both of them. And then I have a knot there. This goes here, this goes here. Don't remember which order specifically. Oh yeah, and I was, was connecting this to, to another gate. So it was something like this, if I remember correctly. I remember I was passing five of them. Maybe it was this gate instead. What was it? So maybe if I take this off here. It fails already on the first one. If I put a not gate here. Oh, it's gonna turn it on. Which is not what I want. Oh, this is going to turn it on, I guess. So it's not going to work. What was the one that was off? I think it was the XR. And this is supposed to be turned off. And both of them were turned on. Turned on. So shouldn't this be passing? I don't understand this. What's going on here? Oh, it's because both are off. Yeah, that's why. Then shouldn't the NAND gate work? It's gonna turn it on. Oh, it needs to be off.
Yeah, on both. That's why I'm getting confused. Because these inputs are different than these ones. The, these ones. So when both of them are on, it needs to be off. But they're currently both off. So I need something that turns on when they're both off. Oh, but it should work. No, I need some. Oh, it's the other way around. I need something that turns off when the, they're both on. Yeah, but it should work here. No, it doesn't work because they're both off and it needs to turn off. Yeah, so the XR should work. Or the first one. So pass is true. No, it's the issue. So when this one is on, it should be on. So maybe I should take this one out. And do it like this instead. I remember I was using a not gate here. Somewhere. Yeah, that's the point I stopped, I think. So when both of them are off, it needs to be off. So it's currently the problem here. So this activates because both of them are off. It's not receiving input from this one. So I need something that reverses the situation here. But I'm not sure if this is possible because, yeah, there isn't any gate that I can use. I can use this one. Maybe I should use, I think I'm gonna need one more gate. Maybe even more. Maybe I should use this. That's the problem with these challenges, is that you solve one of them and then it screws up the other ones. That's why it's hard. Also, maybe if I connect that, this one directly there somehow. Maybe if I connect it here. The second one. So it passes the first one. But now it needs to be on and this is blocking this one. So how can I solve this? If only one input's not gonna turn on. And this should be a both one. Maybe it's the NAR gate that I, that I'm lacking. But maybe I should put it this gate instead 
put it here. It's still passing. Come on down. It is still failing here. I feel like I need to use buffers. Delayed buffers. Because the log says that. And now it doesn't work. And I'm not uh, sure if I understand the connection, the log that mentions something about the value in this the save, but it's not so clear uh, exactly how they relate to the output and how they relate to each other. Obviously, this is supposed to save the output, and this is the value that is being inputted, but. I can't find a lot of uh, sense here. Can't make a lot of sense on this. Maybe I have the value in the saves. This is this, and then here it doesn't save. And it just displays the output that it was saved before. Now saves this value. So it doesn't save. Yeah, but it doesn't make much sense for me. Maybe I need to use more buffers. So it's still filling a bunch. If there is another gate here, it does suck.
Let's see if the Argus works. I guess the problem is that I don't really understand exactly how the delayed buffers work. I get that they delayed it, the, they are delayed by one tick, but I don't understand really well how, because the animation here is, is just confusing to know what's going on. I guess because I'm receiving input from other directions so it's not following on the delay buffer. Let me take this off and see. So now all of them work except this one. But if I reverse the output here, I have a feeling that it's not going to work. Because the logic doesn't make much sense. I forgot which one it was connected to, so it's connected to this one. Yeah, it doesn't work. So maybe instead of the not, I use the delay. Yeah, but like it's gonna act r roughly the same way, probably. Yeah. It, it just doesn't make sense. So annoying. So when this happens, then both need to be on in order for this to work. Instead of off, off. I'm gonna do this. Oh, maybe if I put one buffer on each side. So I delay the output twice. This is, is interesting. So now maybe if I change the gate somehow. I don't understand how this stuff works.
Also, I'm making them out of sync because here is passing and here is not passing. That's what's going on. What if I put um, the other, or the other, other order? Yeah, but this doesn't matter because, in, yes, I'm still blocking in the beginning. If I use a R gate here, it's probably not going to work. You can use the end gate somewhere. Let's try the end gate. What if I do it like this? Okay, so making progress. That's good. Only more. I think I, I did this the previous time. I got to this level. Two, three, six, seven. No, I think I stopped on the seventh one. Or maybe I got to this level. I'm not really sure. But now it needs to be off and it's on. So that's the thing. Here it needs to be on in the exact same situation. But here it needs to be off. I think the only way to make this happen is to use the, the buffers. What if I change the gate here as well? Sort turns that on. See if I put the NAR here. Then it doesn't pass the other ones. Because it has to be off on the first one. And the other gates, I feel like are, they're not going to work. And then the gate's probably not going to work. Okay, so this passes the first ones, but then fails on this one. Then the gate's going to activate first. Not even gonna try this. So just have to think how can I do this? Yeah, for the first shoe is the NAR gate. And then starts being weird. So I think I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna try stuff on another one. I'm just gonna call it new every time. <laughs> I'm going to try delaying the output of the NAR gate. And trying to figure out if I can make it work that way. 
So it has to be connected like this. Yeah, but it's not gonna pass because yeah, this one fails already. So the output has to be on. So both of them uh, would need to be on here. Which means this should be delayed by the one. But how can I do this? That's the question. Maybe connecting directly already delays it. Oh, so it does delay. So here is acting like Maybe I can use the XR now here. I think that's what I'm having trouble with, is understanding how the delay buffer works. Once that clears up, I'm gonna be able to solve it. So this should be the other way around, I guess. Then it doesn't pass. Oh, it needs to be off. Not on. But then why is the NAR gate not working here? Because now it needs to be on. But it should be working. Okay. Is there a way to visualize ones and zeros? What exactly do you mean by that? Are you saying related to the to this challenge or in general? Helps make more sense of everything about this program. Mm. This challenge specifically. I'm trying to think, but I'm not sure. Visualize ones and zero. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Let me open the curtain a little bit. I'm stuck on this one because I think the right way to solve this is by delaying the output. So I get a different logic in the other ones. But I'm not exactly sure how to do that and how many times I need to delay. Because the program app has a way to show you what is being input and what is the output. The input is here. And the output is here. And here's the truth table. So basically the way it works, it's when it, it's a turn it on, the arrows go through here, 
and when it's turned off there's no uh, arrows and this delays by one tick which means that uh, this output for this one is from the previous one yeah, red equals zero and green equals one. And then you have to hit all these outputs here. But it's uh, very difficult. At least for me. Maybe if you have experience, it might be easier, but I'm having a lot of trouble, uh, specifically this challenge as well. I think I spent uh, probably around two hours trying to solve this, this one. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really hard. But it is fun though, and I'm, I think I'm learning a lot about how the gate works. Like before I even, before I started this game, I didn't even I understood the logic, but I, it was very confusing for me. Now it's a lot more clear. I think I have a better understanding of how which one of them works and what it does. And I I solved some challenges that I thought was were impossible to do at first as well. Which is what was really cool. So do you have any suggestions on how to do this? This one? This has helped me before. Do you mean writing them? I'm not, I don't have a lot of experience in translating binary to decimal. So I think, yeah, I have trouble with that. Even though I think I understand, I'm not still very uh, confident in translating both. So I'm not sure if that is going to make it easier for me, but. I, I prefer thinking about the logic of like what what gates do I have and what needs to be changed on them so I can fit on the outputs here that I need. So this one, the, the logic I was, I was using is that for the first two, I can use an R gate because it's turned off when both of them are turned on and it turns turns it on when both of them are off. But then on the other ones it's not going to work. So I need uh, to delay the output somehow of one of them. So basically what, what I need is either the NAND NAR, or NAR gate or the first true. And after that I need to delay either one of the entries so is it is desynchronized. Why I suggest you use Jesus because colors and images in general put additional load on your math side of the brain. Huh, interesting. And you don't necessarily feel that. So do you suggest using a piece of paper or? Because colors and images in general put additional. Like writing this truth table in zeros and ones, and then writing this as ones, one and zero, or zero, zero, and seeing uh, if I can match them. Hmm. Do you think? If I do this on thing, on the thing, yeah, but then it's uh, really hard to to write it. 
like the me, the truth table here. And then I write like this, etc. And then here will be one on one. I'm not sure if this is gonna work for me, man. That's until you get comfortable with it. Mm. Using paint. I suck at paint. Okay. I remember I tried, tried to draw some stuff before. And it <laughs> completely sucks. My writing sucks as well, so. With the mouse, it's ridiculous hard, ridiculously hard for me. So I'd have to do it with this one. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try to solve it uh, just by thinking about it. I think it forces me to, to think better. That's what I did in college when I was studying math. I forced myself to do everything in my head and my memory became a lot better. Not to push too hard. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I took a break before. I was... I <laughs> got headache from trying to solve then I went to meditate and now I'm kind of a little bit refreshed. But it still feels like uh, I'm stuck. So hopefully if I think a little bit more, then I'm able to create something. I did another ex schematic here. Not sure if you saw this. And this one was passing uh, some of them, but then failing on the other one. If you have any suggestions of uh, the configuration I can try here, I know it's going to be hard for you to, because you're typing, but yeah, this one passes until here, and then, then I got stuck. The most challenging part about this is that if I change here, then it might screw up the, all the other results. That's why it's so difficult. So another strategy is to try to solve it from this side and to from right to left before. But then I have to redo everything. You know what I see when I look at these diagrams, resistors, amplifier circuits. Exactly. The goal of the game is to build your own PC. That's why I'm playing this. So you start off with basic logic and then you build up until you get your own PC and then eventually you get to programming and functions and then you get to assembly. But it's through many levels, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to complete it. So this part is the easy part, believe it or not. Like we have the basic logic, then I'm on here until arithmetic and memory, then CPU architecture and then finally working computer then programming, and then CPU architecture through functions, and only then assembly. So I'm not, some of these are kind of weird because the lower levels, uh, one of the lower levels were a lot more difficult. I think the XR gate was really difficult for me. Then the, I had another one. And then other levels that are beyond are sometimes a lot easier so it's not clear that the progression of complexity is linear it's probably not linear so it might be a lot harder this the next ones or relatively easier same level five to one ratio uh, what is that and here they gave a, a hint true have two inputs, the first input determines if 
we update the value remembered, save. The second input is the value to save, ignore it when not saving. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Because it feels like they are telling me that I should connect both inputs somehow. Because the save input depends on the value one. But not... I don't understand really well. What I mean by that is, once you reach a milestone, if you wish to call it, then you get to a more difficult stage, you go back and practice the old stuff five times more than new one. Than the new one. Oh, that sounds like an interesting idea. I never heard of that before. But it makes a lot of sense because usually you learn through exposure, right? Uh, you have you need to have consistency and spread out uh, spaced repetition, as they say, I think. So it makes a lot of sense. Where do you, where did you hear that? Uh, it's a strategy or something you come up with. It's time consuming, sometimes boring, but it has great effect. It does make a lot of sense. It doesn't quite. Oh, actually, it follows the Pareto distribution. So maybe that's what you're talking about. Uh, data 20 rule. And I feel like eventually I'm going to get this right. It's just a matter, sometimes there is a breakthrough through that you get blocked in one level and if you break through then all the other levels pass. So I'm hoping this one works like that. I've partially figured the, this out by myself and I've heard people say similar things. Of course you do something is going <laughs> to... Yeah. That's, that's a fact. Yeah, one thing that this game does is also make you appreciate the people that build the computers the first time. Just imagining then trying to figure this out with actual wires and not the game. It's insanely hard. And probably all a bunch of geniuses. Yeah. So how am I going to solve this one? This should be off here. Maybe I should try taking this off. Connecting like this. Then it's probably going to screw up the other ones. Yeah. So maybe if I did the other way around. I feel like I need to use buffers. Maybe two or maybe more. For me it's probably the only way to do this. Uh, how do you mean? 
the wires or the rotated or have the source emit outwards. I don't think you can do that. I've looked if I could rotate, but it seems like you can't. I don't think you can do rotation, but you definitely can change the the way that it looks. Yeah, the issue here is that it needs to be desynchronized somehow, the signal. That's why it's so hard, this one. So here, I'm not sure why it was working before, when I had this. That level. Yeah, now you see it's working. I'm just going to pass this one. But I'm not really sure why this time it works. Let's see. Is this output here, this little thing that is difficult to understand what it does exactly. Well, now it's doing the same thing because I haven't connected here. So maybe this is, is useless. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I don't I don't need this one at all. So now it needs to be off, but this is on. What if I try to change the gates here? Now it screws up this one. Because there's nothing pass, passing through here. And here is blocked. So maybe if I take this off. Let's see. Doesn't pass the first one. This one is annoying. Come on, let's think about something different. So now it's going to delay the, the output of this one. So even though this is turned off, it turns on here. This I have the other gate, I believe. I think I use the R gate here. So that should be one that's it's gonna shut down there. Which one was was I use? That should be one that turns on when the the first input is on. So maybe I was well, but there are it's gonna fail on the previous one. 
So I think I was using the end gate. Yeah. It doesn't work. So what if I remove this? I think I need to start from here again. So let me try the NAND gate here. And this activates because so maybe if I put a buffer here. I think I tried this sometime as well. It didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work because I need to delay on the sides differently. I can't delay on the output. Yeah, because then I'm capped here. So I have to connect directly, which means I can't use the NAND gate to connect. I think it has to be the NAR gate. There's no other way. For the beginning, at least. Maybe the XR works as well. It doesn't. Oh, maybe I can delay the 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 thing here. Usually, the simplest solution is the right one, as they say. But... Okay, so this works, but it's turning on here. So maybe if I did the same thing, but here instead. Yeah, but then it's not gonna matter. Because they need to be desync uh, asynchronized. If I'm gonna use the XR gate. Yeah, so now I have inputs come from here, then from there. So I want to block this. Yeah, but this is the issue then. if I block on this one, then it might fail this one. Unless I use another gate here. So maybe that's worth trying. Okay, so making progress. Now let's think about. So this is similar to this one. But for the other side. The issue is that on this side I have the two delays. Which I used to solve. So if I play around if this is gonna fail here. And I think also this one is activating when it shouldn't be. Yeah, 
You know, it's activating this one. Oh, that's the problem, actually. So the output is push PR. So what if I put this one somewhere here? But then they're going to be synchronized, that's the problem. But maybe not because I'm using the not gate here. Yeah, so no, it's not going to work. Oh, I think I, I think I know what you know. I can use another gate here and then I can delay here. Probably. So it's supposed to be off, but it's on now. Yeah, so this needs to be activated, the first one. Not really sure why, but... Oh, because this is blocking the input, that's why. So maybe I can try another gate here. Instead of the R, I can use the XR. So now it's feeling this. So let me try to put it directly there. It's probably gonna fail another one. <laughs> Yeah. And if I change this, then it's going to change everything. Maybe I should try that. It can't be this one. And it can't be the end because the end is gonna activate the first. Which means it's not gonna pass the first time. XR is not gonna work as well. So I think I need to put something here. I'm not sure if this is the best way to go about it also, but... So now maybe I need to put the not gate there. So when this output is on, it should be off. Yeah, this one's not gonna work. Oh, maybe it will. I feel like I tried that before. Not really sure. Yeah. Maybe I can use, yeah, the not gate is gonna turn it on in the first one. So I can make, can't have that. So 
So maybe if I try like this. Take this off. So I need something that turns it off when either of them is off. When either of them is on. I think I need to separate the input somehow as well. I do different things on each input. Oh yeah, I keep getting confused because the inputs are gonna be different than when I, what I think they are gonna be when I look at the truth table because this one is delayed by by one tick. Maybe if I try to do, yeah, I think I tried this before, but should do the same thing on both sides, but with a difference in delay. Something like this. So now this is on, this is supposed to be off. So maybe if I delay here as well. Maybe if I connect this to the bottom one. I'm gonna try that if this doesn't work. And this one doesn't work. Why the other time it worked? Did I change anything there? Now both of them are off, turns on, so that's the problem.
because I can't have uh, passing through here. And if I connect, it's gonna pass there. And it's gonna activate this stick here. And this one, actually. So what if I did like this? So the first one is receiving only one input, then it should be off. So the XR does that. But then it turns it on, the first one. It has to be done or there's no way about it. So I need to make it work with the NAR for the first. What if I change that here? It's active on both raw. I feel like I tried this before, but yeah, where well, it fails in the first one. Because it needs to be activated. Yeah, both inputs need to be active in the first. Oh, maybe it doesn't need to be the NAR gate, actually. Because if I delay the first input, then I can use the other gates. So it can't be the NAND to start with, because it needs to be off. I think it can be the XR as well. And the other ones are gonna turn it on, that's the problem. Only exception is the end and the not gate. Maybe I'll, I'll go back to the other schematic there. I might have to use this all, always on, actually. Yeah. 
Oh, maybe I can use another gate here that doesn't necessarily. Because this one's gonna block. Yeah, I think this is the correct path to go through. So maybe I can put the NAR gate here. I already have here. Because if I just delay, it's not going to matter. It's going to pass this, but stay with the, the next ones. Yeah, it can't work like this. If I do it like this, Yeah, this is definitely not gonna work. So what can I do here? If I put the delay after now.
is not nor can only delay the third round. What I'm thinking about now is using the output as the input of this delay somehow. Maybe that's a better way to go to go about it. If I do it like this, I think it's not gonna pass, but maybe if the NAND gate passes. So both outputs are off. Turns on, off, turns on. But then it needs to turn on. And both of them are on. So maybe they are gay. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't pass because it's delay. Hmm. Let me turn off. Turn on the lights. So each one's better. Much better. This is probably the hardest one so far. I thought the other one was difficult, but it's because this one seems, it feels like it should be easier, but, or maybe I'm missing something. It's just the way that I'm thinking about it is not correct. Because the other, the, the other one was really hard as well. The one where I, where I used a bunch of them. I think I'm probably missing something with this delay. Using the output here somehow. I'm not really sure. 
What exactly? But this is not gonna work because it has to be turned off there. Put it here, probably doesn't make any difference. Shouldn't this one start in the off? The off setting? Yeah, now it does. I guess it's the NAND gate that it starts with the own input. Oh no, it's because it's receiving current then it turns it on. Why I'm connecting to this one? Well, both of them are going to be turned on. So it doesn't matter. This one I tried already, doesn't work. What if I pass the input of this into some other gate? And obviously need to connect more 
more than one gay. And the question is which one? And you should turn it on on the upside and off on the other one. Maybe I should think with the level log as well. I'm not sure. Remembers the value for one tick. We need to make a component that remembers the value until we decide to change it. Remember is a value until we decide to change it. I think that's the hint there. That I need to solve this. You have two inputs. The first input determines if we update the value remembered. Save. Second input is the value to save. Ignore it when not saving. Ignore it when not saving. So when the save is off, the output should be off. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense here in the truth table. Determines if we update the value remembered. Save. I can't I leave this open while I do this thing. Yeah, I can. So I think I need to connect like this. Yeah, I need to make something like this. That goes through here. Something like this. And then uses this as the input. But then it's just gonna short cut it cut cut it and go right through here. That's what that's what doesn't make any sense to me. First input determines if we update the value rem remembered. So how does it Remember the value. Second input is the value to save. Ignore it when not saving. So, which means that the second input should be off when the first input is, is off. So it has to be the other way around, I guess. Determines if we update the value remembered, say. Second input is the value to save. So I should ignore the second input when this is on, is off.
a component that remembers the value until we decide to change it. So the first input is the one that determines whether or not going to change the value. Just don't understand this description. Still very confusing for me. So this determines if we update. So I need to make something that ignores the second input when this one is off. And if this is on, it's gonna take this one. That's the logic here. So this input has to control whether or not it flows through here. Yeah, the first input controls. If there's going to be an output or not. So I need to use maybe the end somehow. Yeah, this is obviously not gonna work on the first one, but I think I just need to think for more time. Probably gonna, not going to finish this in 18 minutes.
think I need to think about them separately. I need to use different gates here. But why is off when both of them are on? That's the thing that, that I don't understand. It's based on the description. Shouldn't be like this. Because if this description makes sense, then it should be on here, the first one. That's what I don't understand. Always output what is currently saved. So the output should be what is saved. So I guess this is a previous output. And now it's storing this output in the save because it's the save is on. Here is ignoring this output. Ignoring this value, so it's outputting this. Now it's saving this one, but it's still outputting this because it was what it was saved. And now, oh, okay, I think I get it now. So this one is delayed by one, by the value, not necessarily by one, that's the problem. I think it only delays when it's activated. Yeah, so... Probably what I need to do is connect something here. In the I need to connect to make some something like this. Yeah, but if I do it like this, that's the problem. Because then it's not gonna pass through this input here. That's the thing. Oh, so unless I guess I can make something like this. And then connect both of them to, to a gate. Yeah, this is probably the correct way to go about it. And when this is on, it needs to delay by one. And if this is off, this also. So if this one is off, it doesn't matter uh, if this is on or off, so it should be off. So it means I should use this one. Yeah, that's probably the correct way to think about this. No, but then when both of them are off, it's not gonna work. So it's not this gate actually. I need some gate that is gonna turn on when either both of them are on or, or when the top is on. So that's the logic that I that I need there. So this is gonna work, I guess. For the the this logic. Yeah, but then if the top one is false, which means that it's off and the bottom one is on, then it's not gonna work.
because it's gonna give me true, but that's not what I want. Yeah, whenever the top one is off, the bottom one it should be off, it should be disregarded. So I think I need to decide what's gonna happen on this one. Yeah, when it's off, do I want to pass a current or not? No. So, it has to be independent of whatever output is the other one. So, what is that truth table look like? So it's gonna be off, off and off. So that should be off and off, off, off and on. So that should be off, on and off. Yeah, uh, no, this off and off has to be off, off and on has to be off. And where both are off, that should be off. That's what I want. So the XR does this. But then when both are on, it's off. So when the first one is off, the bottom one is off, and it should be off. When it is off and the bottom one is on, and it should be off. So the XR not, doesn't work. Unless I can change the logic. To some other uh, gate. Oh, I think I have an idea. Maybe I can use this gate here and then connect the output to the other one. Because that's going to reverse whatever goes here. So you choose this so 
So let me think about what's happening here. Yeah, so this is the weird situation. Because the save is on, but yeah, the output should be delayed by one. So maybe if I put a delay here, it will work. Okay, passes a bunch of them. But now they both are off, and the output is on. Let me think about what's happening here. So this starts uh, on. That's the problem because it should be storing the own value. But how am I gonna do that? Seems impossible. Because the output's gonna be off, so how I'm gonna remember this own output if there's no current going through? Connect here directly doesn't make sense as well because then there's no point of doing the, the other thing. So maybe I'm doing this the the wrong way. It should be the other way around with the buffer. Yeah, but then it doesn't work as well because I would have to pass this to the output. If I want to make it like that. So maybe it's the other way around where... This one is directly connected there. And this one has the circular connection. So this one needs to output whatever value it was stored. And it needs, needs to store the, this value when this is on. But only when this is on. So you should store the output when this is on. But this is not gonna work. Yeah, but if I if I do it the way that I'm thinking, then there's no point in using this output in the first place. Because I can just go through here. Using this input. If I did something like this. And then I put the delay here. And 
Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to solve it now, unfortunately. So either might do... This game off stream, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish in just two or three days. So I'm probably gonna do this game off stream actually. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, probably. Maybe Sunday. See what level I can get. And then whatever level I stop at, I'm gonna do the rest off stream. And maybe I can do this uh these levels of programming here. Downstream then later. It's programming or I'm gonna get through this part. Or I can do like the JSON suggested and go back and reinforce the ones that I learned previously. The basic ones. Maybe I, sh I should go back to these ones and try to solve them. That might be a good idea. Yeah, okay. So, probably come back tomorrow and continue playing this. See ya.